Hey, good day. How are you? Hope you are well. Hope you are warm and safe. Today is Monday, January 29th, 2024. It is a beautiful day. Here we go. Crazy weather again. We are warming up now. This morning was a little cool. I actually spent some time pondside this morning. I did a little rainbow trout fishing myself. I'll share more about that after today's report. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have two locations for you today. In Mejia, Texas, you have Springfield, expected 1,200 trout for your only stocking this season. Our last location today in Mount Pleasant, Texas, Bob Sandlin State Park, estimated 830 trout. This is your second stocking of the season. Notice I did not say last, so that means we'll see you again before things are all said and done. That's right. I do daily trout stocking reports. We This state is stocking all the way up until March. Uh, typically, stockings take place between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Times and dates are subject to change. It's not set in stone. Mainly a guideline. When you go fish, make sure you are legal and follow all rules and regulations. I conveniently have them shared underneath in the description for you. Also, yours truly has put together what I refer to as your ultimate guide for targeting these pond lake stocked rainbow trout. Uh, I have a link in the description for that video as well. This morning actually reminded me of some additional things. That's naturally how it goes though, right? You, you have a point you want to get across, you have some great content you want to share, and then it's all said and done and, and it's over. And then later on you're like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Oh man, I wanted to add that. So I'm actually going to be adding uh, an addendum, if you will, a follow-up. There's a few more things I wanted to talk about, so I'll be sharing that soon, a few days to come. So anyways, my trip this morning, I didn't get to the water as earlier as I might have liked. Um, dropped the kids off at school, went out. Um, it was a new, uh, to me, body of water to fish. Um, by the time I got there, it was really a bummer of a trip. Um, I wanted, I went and took the GoPro, took, took the phone, wanted to get some content for the channel, wanted to share with you guys, hey, this guy can do more than just, you know, talk the reports and tell you how to do it. He's going to do it too. It was really an off, off morning, off day. So I got there, there was three or four guys there. I talked to one of the guys, um, the, the five minutes or so I spent talking to him, nobody caught anything. Um, they hadn't caught, caught anything. Um, so I did a little recon on the water, you know, just looked around tried to pick my spot nothing was going on there i found some cormorants another part of the water i was like maybe the birds tipped me off you know they're they weren't fishing they were just hanging out on the on the edge drying out some turtles banked up there next to them that was a pretty funny sight so um i was like all right well let's go you know scope out a spot tried it out i had a bite or two um nothing even not even a run really like to set the hook on it's just kind of like uh, uh, like an investigative nibble or something and two, it's possible maybe it wasn't a trout bite. Could have been perch. Could have been uh, a catfish checking it out. Something like that. So, move spot several times. Um, the amount of time I spent there, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, there was about 12 fishermen total. So, something I, I mentioned in my trout resource video that I, uh, I brought up is I talk about how you're going to be able to mitigate crowds uh, a lot better if you can plan your trips during the week. So Monday morning, you know, about 12 guys out there. Um, anyways, no one caught a fish the, the entire time I spent out there. Um, there was one old guy, <clears throat> older than me, came by. He was working the shoreline. I, I was kind of watching him, you know, uh, as he was coming around the corner and made his way to me, you know, eventually. And started you know small talk like hey you caught anything you know i was like man i've had a few licks but nothing i said how about you you know and he said he said he had caught four um he was throwing like a not a rooster tail not a mep spinner it's almost like a slab like a slab bait one of those um you know the weight is a slab uh shaped thing with the treble hook on the back with a little spinning blade and that's what he was throwing uh i never saw him catch anything uh, he didn't have a stringer or a bucket or a cooler with him. I don't know if he was putting them in the truck. This is all, you know, just us chatting. And so, um, per this gentleman, though, he said that they had put the, to my understanding, and, and I even shared about it in my video, that this particular body of water was supposed to have been stocked on Sunday. And um, 
he told me that they actually put some trout in there on Tuesday. And he said they were real little. He's like, oh man, those are sorry. That's just going to be bass food, you know, bird food, that sort of thing. And he said they came back Thursday, apparently, and put larger trout in there. And he said that um, what they started to observe was the trout, um, once they were in the water and trying to find their way around, they were actually jumping out of the water up on the banks. And he said that people were kind of knocking them back in, throwing them back in, that sort of thing. But the fish were real disoriented. And he said that um, talking with a park worker that uh, it was it was relayed that uh, apparently, you know, some people were picking them up and, and taking them home. Uh, not entirely legal, but, you know, then again, these are pond stock trout, you know. I mean, they are there to be harvested and taken. And, and if they're going to die anyways, I don't know. I'm not getting into that. Not what we're here for. Just sharing a story. Here, this is all hearsay. <clears throat> and so they um the, the the city had a uh like a kids fishing outing family fishing outing on saturday and so that apparently that was why these trout were stocked early bring people out be a community gathering get them involved that sort of thing um also with talking to the gentleman learn there's some pretty large bass in this body of water so anyways um like i said the it was it was an off morning uh i didn't have any luck i had again a few bites nothing i could even set the hook on um lost bait a couple times but nobody else caught anything it, was, it wasn't just me oh the gentleman said uh, that he was having more luck on marshmallows something else i mentioned in my video a couple different bait options you can use for catching these fish um i was just sticking to my power bait uh i was just planning to for it to be a short term uh, quick morning trip. You know, I, I didn't take any of the artificial stuff with me. I just had the power bait. As you know, that's my go-to. That's what I talk about in the video. Apparently this gentleman was using it too. He said he ended up giving up on it because it wasn't giving him results. He said he had better luck on the little marshmallows. Take that as you will. Um, so like I said, all in all, just an off thing. And, and it was another reminder for me that I have witnessed and experienced some stockings that don't always go right and have gone wrong. So I'm going to include some personal stories about that in this video to come that I mentioned, um, and if this coming shortly about, uh, like a, a part two, a follow-up to my, my ultimate trout guide. So keep a look for that. So subscribe again, uh, Texas parks and wildlife are stocking up into March. I'll be covering daily. And if you thought that you missed me on Saturday, uh, you may have, but I was not here. Uh, I did not have any stocking reports to share on Saturday. So if you're looking for that, didn't make one, didn't have anything to share. Um, was actually tied up all day with an event um, anyways, but regardless, there was no report to share. So subscribe so you don't miss a location coming near you. I do share more than just rainbow trout stocking reports and stories. Uh, my channel again is still quite new. I'm less than a month old. Uh, I am working uh, diligently outside of all the other responsibilities and things. You know, I'm married. I have a large family. Uh, kids do school. I have work obligations, that sort of thing. I am working to bring you content daily. I am working on some more fun fishing related content. So anyways, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for joining me here today. Enjoy this beautiful day. If you get out at the water, share in the comments, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot me a picture, Instagram, something like that. Let me know you caught something. I went out there just kind of a bummer of a trip. So I want, I want somebody else to get out there and tear it up. So anyways, until next time, have a good one.